Welcome to this podcast for Brighton School of Business and the Management students studying for the BTEC Level 7 Extended Diploma. For this unit you'll need to satisfy the criteria exactly as laid down in the assignment brief and as described here and you must select a strategic management issue approved by your tutor relevant to your own organisation and business sector as well as showing evidence of having studied the unit topics in depth and breadth by referring where appropriate to relevant models, theories and established best practices. To enhance your understanding of these assignment issues we strongly advise that you also discuss them with senior management colleagues within your own organisation. Websites containing useful information for this area of study and for this assignment are listed in the supplementary resources document in your Moodle pages. However, your selected project topic will dictate which websites are most relevant and we also advise you to identify and make use of business and management sites with strategic level content rather than purely academic ones as this assignment must focus on a strategic management issue which needs to be responded to by the strategic managers of an organisation or organisations in a particular sector. It is highly unlikely that purely academic research papers will be of much use. Leadership and strategic management sites listed in earlier assignment briefs will also be worth visiting. Government and industry or business sector organisations in most countries uh, now have websites which contain reports, analyses and forecasts of business and management performance and business environment issues. Much valuable material can be found on the websites covering your professional specialism and those covering sector specific institutes and associations. Finally, your tutor will be able to advise you on relevant websites and on other sources of relevant information. The choice of the project itself is the crucial factor for success in this unit and considerable attention needs to be paid to that choice. The student needs to take the lead on the project or at least a provable major role in the project. It is also essential that the final report show strong evidence that the student has drawn on and integrated the knowledge and understanding gained from the other units studied on the course. The final assessment of your assignment will be based on three things the completed management project report, the presentation and its visual aids and a report reflecting on the learning gained from the whole process. The choice of project, topic or issue and format must be discussed and agreed with your personal tutor. This assignment combines a study of research methods and the application of those to support the development and implementation of a major project within your own organisation. The project must be one that is in response to a strategic management issue that involves a range of functional areas and has implications for a number of levels within the organisation's hierarchical structure and implications for the achievement of the organisation's strategic objectives. There are really three important considerations you need to uh, think about. First of all, the project must be relevant to the corporate strategic management activity within the organisation or sector. An operational or purely technical project will not be acceptable and you must obtain tutor approval at each stage before proceeding. On to stage one of the assignment. The selected issue must be one that is strategic in nature and which, if not responded to appropriately, may damage the medium to long-term prospects of the organisation or of organisations in that business sector. Here are some examples of previous projects that students have chosen. Stage 2, in response to the identified strategic management issue you have chosen, you will be required to propose and carry out research activity that will inform and support the formulation of a project proposal designed to respond to that issue, 
carry out a literature review and online research of articles, case studies and reports on the topic, critically evaluating the relevance of that material and then justify its use for the proposed project. You will need to demonstrate that you first of all understand how to select a research question and also that you selected a research question or area of investigation, explained the factors that contribute to the process of successful research question or area selection and justified your choice of research question or area. You need to demonstrate that you are able to conduct a literature review and online research and also that you conducted research to find material relevant to the research question or area, undertook a critical review of the identified key data sources, understood techniques used to interpret data in the research proposal, evaluated and made use of techniques for use with quantitative data in a research proposal, and evaluated and made use of techniques for use with qualitative data in a research proposal. You need to show that you are able to choose the appropriate methodology to research the question or area, which means you will have to have evaluated appropriate research methodologies, chosen an appropriate methodology and justified the methodology selected. Finally, you need to demonstrate that you are able to present the findings of a research proposal and that you have recorded your literature review and methodology in an agreed format, summarised the findings using suitable methods, critically analysed the findings and presented your findings, analysis and conclusions in a research activity report. Before moving on to stage 3, you must obtain the approval of your tutor. This stage requires you to do several things. You will need to, first of all, re-examine the strategic management issue that you have identified in Stage 1. Consider the findings of the research that you have carried out in Stage 2. Prepare a project action plan to respond to the strategic management issue, incorporating your research findings. Implement the project and monitor the progress of the project. You also need to take the project through to completion and closure, evaluate the success of the project and prepare and present a written report on the outcomes of the project. For this part of the assignment, you'll need to demonstrate that you are able to develop a project specification and that you have analysed the factors that contribute to the process of project selection, developed outline project specifications for the implementation of a new product, service or process and produced a specification for an agreed project to implement a new product, service or process. You need to demonstrate that you are able to plan for the implementation of a project to implement a new product, service or process and by so doing show that you have produced a project plan for an agreed project, matched appropriate resources to the project, costed or resources required for implementing a project, agreed timescales for the management and implementation of a project and planned an appropriate strategy for the implementation of a project. You need to demonstrate that you are able to implement a project, showing that you have implemented a project in accordance with an agreed specification, developed appropriate measures to monitor and evaluate progress and outcomes, and monitored the implementation of the project. Finally, you need to show evidence that you are able to evaluate the outcomes of a project, that you have analysed the outcomes of a project in terms of the original project specification, evaluated the outcomes of the project and made justified recommendations for improvements to future project activities. Before moving on to stage 4, you must obtain the approval of your tutor. For this stage of the assignment, you'll need to demonstrate that you are able to present the outcomes of a strategic project by producing a report of all project procedures used and by presenting the outcomes of the project to an audience using an agreed format and appropriate media. The final report must be written in Microsoft Word in a formal business report format and be a minimum of 5,000 words. If your report looks likely to be significantly more or less than 5,000 words, then consult your tutor before you complete your final report. Your final report must also include a description of the strategic management issue that has been addressed, include a summary of the research activity and research findings, 
include a summary of all the key project stages, that is planning, implementation, monitoring and control, completion, closure, review and evaluation. You need to include a summary of the current situation relative to the original strategic management issue, include recommendations for further action on the strategic management issue, and have your material prepared in a second audio-visual format suitable for a formal presentation to senior management. A draft of your report showing the proposed format, structure and content must be submitted to your tutor for feedback and approval before you move on to writing the final version which you will submit for formal assessment. Finally, if you need any further help or assistance with this assignment, please contact your tutor.